guns, gear, and on-target training. I've been asked by several subscribers to talk about revolvers and if they're a viable option for personal protection or self-defense. Also, why would you choose a revolver versus a semi-automatic pistol? Is one better than the other? Well, when I get these questions, I usually answer it the following way. It depends. It depends on a whole lot of factors. But let's talk about some of the pros for choosing a revolver and some of the reasons I think they have a lot of value. And then we'll talk about some of the cons, some of the things that I think um, make them less than ideal for personal protection. Regardless of whether I had a semi-automatic or a revolver, assuming I practice, I'm proficient, and I've done training, that tool is the tool that I can be effective with. So why do I like revolvers and why do I think they're a good option for some people? Well, first of all, is the inherent safety aspects of a double action revolver. To start with, we've got that long double action trigger pull, meaning if I do something stupid, particularly um, a new shooter who is not following proper rules and doesn't understand that you know they want to keep their finger off the trigger until they've made a conscious decision to shoot, and their finger starts wandering in. And let's say they start prepping the trigger, right? There's a very, very long distance before the trigger engages the hammer and then drops the hammer. So that inherent safety feature is something that for some people can be beneficial. Should people put their finger on the trigger before they've made a conscious decision to shoot? Absolutely not. And for anyone who's got a revolver and they're sitting around like this, please don't. That's just not a good uh, safety protocol and ultimately could get you into some trouble. So the second thing is the safety aspect of being able to quickly and easily load and unload. Now we'll talk about the limitations of loading the revolver uh, from a speed standpoint when we talk about some of the cons. However, the very fact that without much physical manipulation, I can simply release the cylinder, inspect the cylinder, and determine if the gun is unloaded and know the condition, whichever uh, condition I want it in, I can quickly do that without having to do anything else. Secondly, I do not have to do anything to manipulate the gun to get it into battery. Assuming I've got rounds loaded in the chamber, I don't have to rack my slide I don't have to insert a magazine. If I get a stoppage at some point, I don't have to tap rack to get the gun back in action. I simply press the trigger again, and assuming there's a cartridge in that next cylinder, likelihood it's going to go bang. So again, some very basic fundamental aspects of the revolver that in my mind add a lot of value to certain people in certain instances. The other aspect is developing marksmanship skills. Anybody who's spent time on a double action, semi-automatic or revolver will tell you it absolutely helps their trigger management. And the reason for that is obviously, as I, and I'm doing that with this beautiful Model 19-3 because it has the target trigger on it and the trigger is so very good. Um, as I'm pressing through the shot, right, it's going to make me focus on the front sight and I'm pressing a smooth trigger all the way through until the hammer is dropped. Developing that skill will make you a better marksman when you go to any other semi-automatic handgun, whether it's a double action to single action, striker fire, or a single action only. That skill, that trigger management skill, really, really helps marksmanship. Now, 
On the con side of it, obviously I have limited round capacity versus many semi-automatics. And again, whether you're limited by your state to only have 10 rounds in the magazine, or whether you have, in my mind, the right to use standard capacity, you know, 15, 17 rounds, whatever the gun was set up for, you do have more round capacity. So that being said, we also have to recognize most situations involving defensive use of a handgun occur, you know, five yards, like 15 feet, 21 max, but most of them are inside five yards. And so they also typically are two to three shots and the fight is over. The bad guy is saying, I don't want to be around someone shooting at me. Of course, someone can write in and say, oh, well, but what about this situation? You got eight bad guys in the dynamic home invasion and you've only got six rounds. Well, I'll tell you, if I got six rounds and bad guys coming in, I am running out the back door, right? I'm not going to try to stand and fight a much larger force if I can aggress. So we have the limited capacity. We also have uh, the issue of loading, right? I'm not going to do it, but here's a speed loader. I can simply dump this in and it will load the gun. Is it as fast as a semi-automatic? Absolutely not. But, again, would it work? Sure. And is it a reasonable option? Maybe for someone who doesn't have the physical dexterity to work a semi-automatic? Absolutely. Just like semi-automatics, there are all kinds of options with revolvers. Everything from a 22 10 shot revolver to a you know concealed sealed carry airweight revolver. Right? I've got a lot of different options. One of the things that I like that I'm seeing right now from people like AIM Surplus and others is they're bringing many police trades to the marketplace. In this case, we've got a Model 10. Now this Model 10 is extremely well used. Uh, definitely shooter's grade, definitely lots of scuffs and nicks, but boy, it is one accurate revolver and the trigger is really quite good. I mean, it's really, really good for a double action trigger. This is another AIM surplus trade. Um, which again is a dedicated 38 special revolver, in this case 38 plus P. And this gun, again, great double action trigger, really good double action trigger. And so I can shoot up to, you know, plus P's in this 38 special, all good. Then we've got our 357 Magnum version. So in this case, we've got a Ruger uh, GP100. This is their target match champion so it's got some bells and whistles on it uh, shoot 38 specials 357 big heavy gun very very comfortable to shoot again very good double action trigger for a stock gun very good model 686 boy fabulous so much fun to shoot this and then finally my new favorite of course is the model 19-3 so from a pro standpoint, a lot of good things associated, safety, ease of use, uh, simple to load and unload. From a con standpoint, limited round capacity, takes much more time to uh, load the gun. And um, for people, again, who train a lot, having more round capacity and frankly, a gun that is faster to reload has some advantages. All that being said, the likelihood of needing to reload in a personal defense situation is relatively low. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying don't carry extra ammo and an extra magazine. I'm just saying sometimes I think that's blown out of proportion. So when do I recommend a revolver to uh, a student or someone who's looking for an alternative to a semi-automatic? Well. I generally want to understand how they're going to use the gun, what the purpose of the gun is, and then what their physical abilities are. Even with my physical handicap, right, I've been able to overcome some of the limitations other people had just through sheer uh, hours and hours and hours and hours of practice. And the idea of a simplistic, easy to use defense tool like a revolver 
makes it a really good choice for people who don't want to spend time or money doing a lot of training, people who physically don't have the dexterity, and people who want just something that's simple. Gun doesn't go bang, I press the trigger again. That simplicity has a lot of value in my opinion. So bottom line guys, I think revolvers are a good option for personal protection. They're usually not my primary choice. I'm just more comfortable with um, striker fired guns that I've spent you know 30 years training on. Uh, I like having a little bit more capacity, even if I've got you know my MP shield that has you know eight rounds in it, right? I, I still like that over my you know five shot Smith. That being said, this is one reliable gun. And it's very easy to operate and, you know, other people in my family don't need a lot of training on the revolver, not as much as they would with a semi-automatic. So I hope that answers some of the questions about why someone might choose a revolver and if they are a reasonable option for personal protection. Guys, I appreciate you sticking with me through this long video. If you like what we do, I'd ask that you subscribe and share it with your friends and family. We obviously appreciate all the subscriptions that we get and all the comments that we get, and so keep them coming. Finally, and as always, stay safe.